Hey friends, today we're going to draw a sheep. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your crayons and also, what is this? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first use our black crayon to draw our sheep. We're going to draw the eyes first. Let's draw two circles next to each other like that. One. one and another one. Two. Two. Then let's draw the little eyes inside. So that's scary. <laughs> it does <laughs> look like, like floating eyes. <laughs> floating eyes. <laughs> scared sheep eyes. Yeah. And then one more inside of this one. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you go. Now let's draw the face. We're going to draw a U shape underneath the eyes. Kind of looks like a big smile, huh? There you go. And then we're going to go all the way around to the top. So go around. Yep. Oh, I love how big your sheep head is. <laughs> now let's draw the ears. We're going to draw one ear coming out here and another ear coming out here. Oh, that's a cute ear. And then another one on the other side. Okay, now this next part, we're going to fast forward, but we're going to color in the ears and also the face, but we want to make sure that we don't color inside of the circles, the eyes. We want to leave those white. Now this part, we are fast forwarding, so remember to pause the video and take time to color in your sheep head. <laughs> Ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it. We finished coloring our sheep heads and my eyes turned out looking angry. Yeah. <laughs> I like your eyes. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our sheep's body and we're going to draw a cloud line. Let's start at the top of the head and we're going to draw a bumpy cloud line going around. My sheep looks so angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to go all the way around. So start up here, the top of the head, draw a cloud line, a bumpy line that comes around and then connects to the bottom. There we go. And then connect and you did it. <laughs> I like your sheep. Okay, what is our sheep missing? Down legs. here. Yeah, legs. Let's draw rectangle shapes. We're going to draw one that comes out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to draw a short line and then back into the cloud line. Mwah. There's yeah. the bottom and up. Let's color in that rectangle shape. Now let's repeat that three more times for four legs. So we go down, over, up. Rectangle number two, down, yeah. Yeah. over, up. Yeah. And then let's do two more. Down, over, up, and down, over, up. One, two. Now let's color in those four legs, or three more, you know, the three legs. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yes, three legs. <laughs> three legs for total of four. We did it. All right, we finished coloring our sheep legs, but we're missing a little black tail. I'm going to draw a little upside down U shape right here and then color it in. Do you want to do that too? Maybe right here. Oh, I love that little tail. Now let's switch to our green crayon. Now let's draw the grass and we can draw a little zigzag line across the bottom of our paper. And I'm drawing it below my sheep's feet, so it looks like my sheep is jumping. Or floating. Or floating like a cloud. Then let's also draw stems for our flowers. I'm going to draw one flower right here. I'm going to draw a line up. And maybe just one flower on mine, but you could draw two more stems on this side if you want. You could draw one here and then another one right there. I'm going to add a little leaf. Oh, let's do that. I'm going to add a little leaf too. Okay, now let's switch to our pink crayon. Oh, you could color your leaves also. Ooh. Now we're switching to our yellow crayon and we can draw a circle and color it in for the center of our flower right here. And you could add circles to each of your stems. There you go. And then one more. Now let's switch to our pink crayon and I'm going to draw little petals around the yellow center of the flower. So we could draw little ovals if we want, or zigzag lines or little bumpy lines to go all the way around our flower.
Good job. I love your flowers. Now let's switch back to our yellow crayon and then I'm going to add another circle up here for the sun. Do you want to add a circle? You could add it over here too if you want. There's more space for your sun. Next. And then let's color it in. And we could also draw sunbeams coming out of the sun or sun rays uh, shining down on our sheep. Yes. This will make my sheep happier with the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I like them connected. Oh, I like your, yeah, you're connecting your sunbeams. I'm going to switch to my black and I'm going to draw uh, two circles for the little eyes and then also a happy sun. I'm going to do that too. He's trying to cheer up my sheep. <laughs> Then my sheep's not happy about this flower for some reason. <laughs> I want to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. He wants to eat the flower. Do you want to add a little funny face to your son? Oh, cute little eyes. And a mustache. I like it. Oh, and a happy face. Oh, open face. Open smile. Ooh, sharp teeth. I like it. <laughs> Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our sheep, and yours is my favorite. I like it too. Oh, thank you. I like the angry face. <laughs> the angry face, and I like your sun face. <laughs> you can pause the video and add all kinds of extra things to your sheep. Maybe you could even draw a barn in the background. Or a baby sheep. Oh, a baby sheep. That would be perfect. Or maybe flowers. More flowers? Yeah. A butterfly, that would be awesome. Or maybe even a bumblebee. Maybe that's why my sheep's angry. It's being chased <laughs> by a bumblebee. Ah. <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing a sheep. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.